the VRMs respond to the CPU voltage um, adjustment, like uh, you know how you know when the, when the processor um, needs its voltage. That, that's uh, that's how fast it recognizes its its uh, demands for the voltage and and get, uh, offers it to it. So that's what that does. That's why uh, they say up to uh, up to 500 megahertz is safe. So I put it at 520 uh, just to be safer. So I'm gonna save and reset here and. Uh, See if we can keep the temps below 60 and uh, get it stable. Last night um, I was doing this. Uh, temperatures weren't as low as tonight, um, and uh, running prime, uh, you know, a worker would stop uh, a couple times, um, but it never froze on me, so that's a good thing. Uh, no blue screens or anything like that. It was just, uh, you know, the worker stops, which I was told when, uh, usually when a worker stops running prime, that it has to do with the north bridge uh, or the RAM. So, you know, I tried up in the CPU north bridge up to 1.45, um, and it was still doing the same thing. So, that's why I upped it to, uh, I think I've said it at one point. 1.4625 you can see the processor is 1.54 volts and we will get started here first I'll run Cinebench and then we'll run Prime so you can see the score at 5 gigahertz is, uh, actually, Cinebench doesn't put as much stress on the CPU as Prime does. So you can see here we're at 5.014 gigahertz um, and voltage 1.54. Idle temperature right now uh, it will drop 29 degrees Celsius. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. I don't know why I have to open Cinebench like this each time. I don't know if you guys have the same problem, but I try to put it on my desktop and it just won't work. always gives it to me in full screen so here we go um, keep an eye on the temp uh, I'll actually bring the one you can see up you can see there CPU temperature 27 degrees Celsius motherboard 22 degrees Celsius 26 on the processor just dropped down to so here we go it, 5.02 gigahertz. And you can see uh, channel 4.9. There you go, 5.02. Alright, so we'll go ahead and run this. The voltage 1.54. Not really jumping around too much. Temperatures at 44, 45 Celsius. So you can see there. So at 5.02 gigahertz, we get a score of 8.09. Uh, I've actually seen it at 8.11, 8.12 too at 5 gigahertz. So 
temperature went up to 45 Celsius. That was the max for center bench. Um, voltage didn't really jump around at all. So let's go ahead and try prime. See if uh, see if we have any problems. See there go there goes a worker right there. Stop running. So you know I've been trying to trying to get this stable here. Um, it was worker six, and it seems to be the same one each time. No way, it was worker seven. Actually, I think that's what it is. Um, fatal error rounding was 0 0.5, expected less than 0 0.4. Hardware failure detected, consult stress dot text file. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna check that out real quick. See if I can find that. Huh. I'm trying to think of where I had that saved. So let me see if I got where I got prime. Oh well. Alright, so we'll. I'm gonna try jumping the voltage up to 1.54375, and uh, I'll go to 1.475 volts on the CPU north bridge. So you can see here 1.55, 1.54 on the CPU, and we'll go ahead and try this again. It's getting worse. It's two of them just stopped. You know what? I'm gonna try and backing the voltage up a little bit here. I'm gonna go to 1.525 on the processor and 1.45 on the CPU North Bridge. Try this again. Well, number seven was instant. There goes number five. So, you know, I don't really, you know, I'll go to 1.55. Um, we'll go back to 1.475 on the CPU North Bridge. So, there's 1.55 on the processor. 1.475 on the CPU North Bridge. <clears throat> yeah, there goes number seven again. Voltage at 1.56.